Hello everyone, I'm Mian Bochen from Pepperdine University MS Applied Analytics program. As we all know, the lower employment rate still is a serious problem that each country struggles to balance. For now, I'm going to use table visualization to show about the overview of worldwide status of employment rate from 1991 to 2017. Let's look at this general map view. From this map, we can see the dark orange color represents a higher employment rate than the blue colors. If we click the year button, start at uh, 1991, some Africa and Asia country have super higher employment rate, for example, like the Tanzania and the Nepal. Both countries' employment rates are higher than 80%. And after 2000, some developed and the developing countries also increase their employment rate gradually. But lower employment rate still is an issue that some Africa and European countries, for example, like the Turkey, like the South Africa, and the Algeria, those countries need to have a plan to solve this issue. And next, we can check the unemployment rate by bubble chart. If I change the year, we can see there always have some change for unemployment rate in different years in and for different countries. Let's look at the latest year, 2017, because it's the best representative to predict uh, the developed trend in the future. So from this chart, we can know the Macedonia and the South Africa have the highest unemployment rate, and now we can adjust the GDP capital button. We can see the most higher unemployment rate countries have lower GDP per capita levels. So the last step, let's compare the employment rate and unemployment rate. From this chart, we can see the most of countries employment rate is gradually obvious and obviously increase and the unemployment rate decreased gradually from 1991 to 2017. For example, in 2017, the Qatar has the employment rate is almost 90 percentage. It's the highest employment rate in the world in that in 2017 and so from all about we talk we can identify that the most countries with the lower level gdp per capita that will cause the unemployment rate higher high and this issue so hope i expressed it clearly in this video and thanks for your time thank you